Hey guys, what's up? Nico here. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I printed my Iron Man figure, MK7. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so I'm gonna get into a lot of figures this year. Um, and so one of the first figures that I made this year was this guy. Who else? This guy right here. <laughs> so um, he is printed in Uncle Jesse's Gunmetal Gray PLA by Ziltek. He turned out really, really, really great. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to um, Show you guys how I put it in a slicer and we're gonna prime this and we're gonna paint it hopefully by the time I get this video out there so let's go to the slicer real quick so I can show you guys how I did it all right so for the torso what I did was um, I had to be careful because of his flaps right here that open um, I wanted to make sure that it was gonna get enough support so I put supports in places that normally don't even need them. Um, I actually forgot that part right there. So I would add a support right underneath this part. Anything that's really overhanging, right? Um, when you do generate automatic supports, you're not going to get supports underneath his lower abs right here. I would put some there because that's going to fail. And you're going to like miss this small bottom half right there um, I would put supports underneath right there too um, and if you guys want I would even maybe even some underneath right here um, I'm not going to but if you guys want just to make sure um, also underneath this jawline right there I definitely would just like I put right there um, and so underneath his neck as well now that's how you're going to do the torso for this figure. Um, let's go ahead and do the other ones, like the uh, the hands and the feet. Alright, so this is for the feet. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this to make it as vertical as possible. Come on. There we go. Whoa, too much. <laughs> right there. Yeah, that's good. When you rotate, you guys, on the x-axis, see, look, you see how it's sticking out down there? Make sure that you make it come back on the table so that it's flat um, underneath it. Just, you know, pro tip. <laughs> so for this one, I would just generate automatic support structures. Um, there are some places that you don't need um, supports in, like down there. And, uh, you can't take those out. I would put something underneath here though because it's an overhang. Um, definitely everything under the feet. I don't need that. Everything under the feet. And if you guys want, I would add some more. Um, I would also do this with um, with a raft. So your supports are um, are stronger, if you will. But this one's pretty straightforward, super easy to do. Some things you don't need, like, like these ones, because they're auto-generated. Come on, take that out. Haha. -ha. All right, so that's how you would do the legs. Now let's do the hands. Okay, so here are his hands. Um, again, I would just rotate this. right about there um, still not quite happy with it so we're gonna rotate it some more like I said make sure you make it fall back on the table um, this one for sure you're gonna need uh, some some rafts so again back to the supports just generate automatic support structures I didn't do this part right here don't need that um, but underneath here, you do, I would actually add more to this part right here. 
underneath like um, his forearm piece just so that it'll be stronger um, also underneath you know some some parts right here like underneath here for sure because it's an overhang and you don't want that you know to, to, to fail so you just do it on both sides there I know I'm getting really monotone and probably putting a lot of y'all to sleep but I think this should be covered for um, for the video because a lot of people want to do just generate automatic support structures but sometimes it's not always the best uh, you really got to put some thought into it and, and, and looking and seeing where you really need them and where you don't uh, it makes a much more efficient print so the supports are done for the entire figure the base you don't really need supports on so let's go ahead and throw these on the printer and let's put it together all right hopefully i didn't bore you guys too much with that slicer stuff so it's really simple arms feet and torso it's it's not like it's, like, it's simple it's like voltron Boop, ding, done super easy uh it prints really really well i haven't made the base for it yet um i wanted to do a test print to see if it prints uh how it prints but it looks like it prints really well so um now i'm gonna paint it and we'll see how it looks like after <laughs> all right couldn't find someone to paint it um so he's just gonna be the mark ii when it wasn't painted yet <laughs> when he first put his suit on no this is the mark seven and he can't be the mark ii because this is the mark seven stuff anyway i'll find someone to paint it or i'll just paint it myself i just gotta find a time to do it anyway it's a great model man this is gonna be i'm gonna do a lot of figures this year so you guys um this is just gonna be cosplay and, and, and um armor stuff so if you guys like this video please give me a thumbs up down below um comment the chat down there if you guys also um want please join us in our facebook group 3d printed armor and weapon props oh also one more thing you guys um go follow the 3d printer joel um support his work you guys joel is a really really cool guy he's very knowledgeable please please follow him i know i don't have a lot of uh subscribers but if you see this video and you don't know who joel is look at the 3d printing nerd he's a cool guy you guys are gonna learn a lot of stuff from him all right peace out i'll catch you later so this one is um cool but this one this one's gonna be special he's not he doesn't have his arm yet um, you guys can see that in the next video what goes on in his arm and what he's holding